scrolling. Hi everyone, my name is Avishek and welcome or welcome back to my channel. And today I am up here with another video related to MSBC Paramedical 2024. So yeah, the date of Paramedical is 6th of July 2024, and the exam exactly three weeks left for this examination. Today is 15th of June 2024. So next to next to next Saturday is the examination. So many people are uh, worried regarding the same. Many people are confident, but uh, also many people are like this: key that Abhishek, we were studying, but now we have lost the, lost the motivation. Now we are not feeling like to study. Please help us regarding the same. So today I will address the my audience that uh, if you are right now not uh, feeling like to study, if you are not being motivated to study, like what will be the best revision strategy in the remaining time? Okay. So let's start the video. And before starting the video, a gentle reminder that my short notes, which I had used to clear the exam examination within two weeks, are still available. You can come to Telegram and purchase them from me. And if you purchase the notes, I will also guide you one on one till the examination. Three weeks are left, so this notes and mentorship will be a really good combo for you. Okay, coming back to the video, that Abhishek, how to do revision in the last remaining time? Okay. So again, I will say, let's start from biology. Again and again and again, I will say, stick to NCERT. Nothing else, nothing else, nothing else. Only and only and only stick to NCERT. This will be really helpful for you. Okay, if you stick to NCERT, you you can even score thirty out of thirty in biology. Okay, coming back to physics. Okay, physics. What should we do? Abhishek, we are not able to solve numericals. If you are not able to solve numericals, that understand that well. Where your problem is being? Are you not able to remember the formulas? Are you not able to remember the concepts? If you are not able to deal with the uh, formula and the numericals, just make sure you know how the formula is being derived. For example, f equals to g into m one into m two by r square. ठीक है? How this formula is being derived? What is g? What is m one? What is m two? What is r square? Understand this entire concept. And for this, you can just uh, study my short notes, which will be really beneficial for you. Along with that, you can just go and watch. Your one shot video, okay? One shot video of any YouTube channel, okay? That will be really beneficial for you. So if you are not able to solve numericals, understand the numericals, understand the formula, memorize the formula, start solving questions, you can definitely do it. Physical chemistry, same approach. Just remember the uh, formulas again and again and again. Understand the concept for anything, chemical kinetics, electrochemistry, anything. Understand the formula, understand the concept, and then start practicing numericals, okay? For uh, inorganic chemistry, please take the same approach as that of biology. Just focus and focus on NCERT. Whatever is written, please mug up. Uh, please just keep everything in your mind in NCERT. Uh, in inorganic chemistry, everything from NCERT, keep it in your mind. That will be really beneficial. Coming back to organic chemistry, mechanisms will be really important. Also, keep an eye on uh, on uh, name reactions, which will be really helpful for you. For mechanisms, please and uh, in organic chemistry, I will uh, ask uh, really really suggest you. To study the chapter GOC carefully. GOC is the base of organic chemistry, and many questions are asked from that. So please, please, please study it. Okay. So that's it for today, guys. I hope you did like the video. If you did, do consider subscribing to this channel, liking the video, and leave a comment down in the description box. And if you want to purchase my short notes, do come to my Telegram. That's it for today, guys. This is me, Abhishek, signing off. Thank you so much.